Hello, guys. Welcome to my channel. I'm Daisy. This video is our structured beginner Chinese class lesson six. This lesson we will talk about how could we say date, year, months, those kind of things in Mandarin Chinese. Before I will post it a video that is talk about the date, but in this video. I will give you more details, and also we will learn how could we ask each other's birthday in Mandarin Chinese. If you really want to learn Chinese by yourself, you can subscribe to my channel and follow my structured Mandarin Chinese class. I'm sure you will got it very well. So now let's start. As always, just in case some of you guys only want to learn the conversation, so now I will read the conversation we gonna learn today first. And after the conversation, we will break down character by character, sentence structure by sentence structure, and learn it together. Tom, 今天星期几 What's the day of today? Alex, 今天星期三 Today is Wednesday. Tom, 明天几月几日 What's the date of tomorrow? Alex, 明天十月一日 Tomorrow is first of October. Tom, 我的生日是一九九一年三月二十一日，你呢 ？My birthday is one nine nine one twenty first of March. And you, Alex? 我的生日是一九八五年五月二十日。My birthday is one nine eight five twentieth of May. In this lesson, I will teach you ten nouns and one question words. So now let us start with the first character, which is noun. We call it 天天天 literally means day. So now we take 天 as foundation, and then we will put another character before 天 to combine those two characters as a new word. In this way, you will get yesterday, today, tomorrow because those things are all about the day. So now let's see. We put the 天 here. If I put a character 昨 before 天昨天昨天 that means yesterday. So now follow me. Read it together. 昨天昨天 yesterday. For this character, they have two components: left component and right component. The left part means sun, so it's already sunset. That was yesterday. So 昨天 yesterday. Also, by the way, if you have no idea for how character works, what is a component? If you have no idea for it, please. Back to our structured Mandarin class lesson two. In that lesson, I'm specifically talk about the component of each character. Okay, so now we got 昨天 yesterday. So for 今天 I also will use 天 as a foundation and then put another character before 今 This one we call the 今今 So 今天今天 Means today. Follow me. Read it together. Today, today. Great. For tomorrow, we call it 明天 You see, I also use 天 as foundation, but I put 明 before. Character 明 has two component: a left one and the right one. For the left component, that is same with the component in the yesterday. Yesterday. For the first character of yesterday, 昨 is also have the sun component here. For tomorrow, 明天明 also has the component sun. So left side is sun, right side is moon. That one means moon. So once you see a sun and a moon, that means definitely we're going to another day. So that is tomorrow. So now you got three words: 昨天
yesterday. 今天 today. 明天 tomorrow. Great. So now we gonna learn 年 about years. 年 we call it 年 means years. So now follow me. Read it. 年年 Okay, 年 works in a similar way with 天 also. You only need to put one more character before 年 and then you can get last year, this year, next year. So let us start 年 as a foundation. First one I gonna put here is a character called 去去年 means last year. Follow me, read it. 去年去年 last year. Actually, this character "chu" has an independent meaning. "Chu" means go. This year already go, already gone. So that is the last year. So last year, 去年 This year, we call it 今年 You see, we put another character 今 before 年今年 This year. Follow me, read it. 今年今年 For next year, we call it. 明年 So you see here again, 年 as foundation put another character. 明明明年 next year, next year, 明年 So you may feel feel like okay, they they put the similar words before 天 and 年 right? So now let us see the comparison. You see here is 昨天今天 Mingtian that means yesterday, today, tomorrow. Here is 去年今年明年 last year, this year, and the next year. A part of the 去年 and 昨天 you see rest of two. This year, today, next year, tomorrow. They all put the exactly same character before 年 and 天 right? You see 今年今天，明年，明天。For last year and yesterday, those two be careful, okay? Those two are different. Last year is 去年 ，yesterday is 昨天。So remember this one. So now we got how could we say year and day? So now we will learn about the months. Months we call it 月，月。Follow me, read it. 月月 means months. So for English, from January to December, you guys have different name, right? January, February is nothing similar between those words. It's literally new twelve words for the different months. But in Chinese, easy. You only need to know the number one, two, twelve, and then plus 月 So for example, number one plus 月 Gonna be January. Number two plus year will be February. Number twelve plus year gonna be December. So basically, you only need to know the number and then plus year. Okay, for number, how could we count number in Mandarin Chinese? Guys, click the link. Click the link on the top. This video gonna tell you how could we say numbers in Chinese. Super easy. So here, so if I want to say like my birthday is March, I will say number three plus year. Number three, we call it 三三月 is March. So 五月 guys, what's the meaning of 五月五月五月 is May. Okay, so if you want to learn the date very well, firstly you have to get the number very well. If now you're confused, you have no idea how could you say numbers in Chinese, please check the link to go the number and then back to this video to carry on. Okay. Now we got how to say months in Mandarin Chinese. For weekday, it works in similar way with months. There is a only one word you have to know. It's 星期星期 means week. Once you know 星期 then you got how could you say Monday. To Sunday, 星期 means week. So you just use the number one, two, three, four, five, six. After 星期 you put the number after 星期 then you got how to say.、It. For example, let us put here 星期 as a foundation. But first of all, follow me, read it. 
，星期，星期，星期 week。So if I say 星期 plus number one, that is Monday. 星期 plus number two, that means Tuesday. So now follow me to read it from Monday to Saturday. 星期一 Monday. 星期二 Tuesday. 星期三 Wednesday. 星期四 Thursday. 星期五 Friday. 星期六 Saturday. Did you realize? I haven't told you guys how could we say Sunday. Sunday. How could we say number seven? Number seven is 七 right? So, but here we wouldn't say 星期七 No, doesn't work in this way. This one is special. For Sunday, there has two ways to say Sunday. First way, you can say 星期天天 means day. Did you remember at the beginning we learned it? 天 So 星期天 Sunday that means the day is yours. 星期天 Or you can say 星期日星期日 for 日 rolling your tongue back 星期日 so 星期日 and 星期天 both mean Sunday. Now let us have a comparison month and week because like I mentioned before, those two is only plus number. You will got Monday to Sunday and January to December, but those two are slightly different. Okay, you see here, for month is number first. Plus months, 月 For weekday is week first, 星期 and then plus number. So remember this one, okay? For month is number first. For week is 星期 first. As the culture difference in China and the UK, when we talk about the date, our order are different. In the UK, they will say day, month, year. In China, we say Year, month, day, just totally opposite. Okay, so now we know how could we say year is 年 right? We know how to say month is 月 But for the day part, like year, month, day, that day part, we have another character. You can say 日 or you can say 号 both fine. Follow me, read those two first. 日日号 How? But why those two are different? Now I tell you. If it's in the really formal way, like in the newspaper or on your phone, they will show you 日 For the daily spoken, they will say 号 Let us practice the date of today. Like this video I'm filming now. Today is first of September, two thousand twenty-one. So in Chinese, we will say two thousand twenty-one year. September first, so we will say 2021 year. In here, you don't need to think about oh, how could I say 2000 in Chinese? No, you only need to read those four numbers independently. I will say 2021. So I will say 二零二一年 So September is number plus month is 九 Is nine right? Month is 月 will be 九月九月 First is number one, so we call it 一一 And the day part you can use 号 or 日 Now I think we are quite formal, so we use 日 So put together will be 二零二一年九月一日 So let us practice one more. If I want to say second of September two thousand twenty-one, that gonna be. You can pause the video now. Once you figure out the answer and then play it, so the answer gonna be 二零二一年九月二日 Or you can say 二号 So now you can talk about the birthday, right? So birthday. This word birthday. In Chinese, we call it 生日 Follow me, read it together. 生日生日生日 means birthday. 生 means born, B O R N, born. 日 means the day.
So born day is your birthday. So if I want to say, oh, my birthday is blah, blah, blah. So how could we say my end is, my birthday is, I mean, my end is. We know how to say mm, birthday is a shengri, right? So in here, we will follow our most common sentence structure, subjects plus verb plus objects. So in this way, I will say 我的生日. The verb is I'm a. How could we say it? Did you remember before I told you guys there is a verb really magic that means is I'm a was were. Remember? We call it 是, right? 是. So gonna be 我的生日是. 我的生日, my birthday, 是. And then plus the day for me is 21st of March. So I can say 我的生日是. March 三月, 21st, 二十一日, put together, 我的生日是三月二十一日. In that case, if I want to ask, how about you? Did you guys remember, there is two characters, magic one, means, and you, and you, did you remember? We call it 你呢? 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 Simply means and you, 你呢? My birthday is 21st of March. 你呢? And you, right? So if your birthday, let's say if it's 1st of July, so you can say 我的生日, my birthday, 是, is July 1st and then day, okay? 七月一日, 我的生日是, 七月 一日. So now we can have a little conversation. Okay, like I said first, I say 我的生日是三月二十一日. 你呢? My birthday is 21st of March. And you, you say 我的生日是七月一日. My birthday is 1st of July. Now let us move to the question word part. Question word is always really important. So before we learn the three question word, right? The first one is ma, ma. You put ma in the end of the sentence that to confirm yes or no, like 你是Daisy ma? Are you Daisy? The second one we learned is 什么什么什么 is the most common one. 什么 means what? What? Like 你叫什么, you call what? Equal to, what's your name, right? The third one is 哪, 哪 means which, like which country's person are you? I can say 你是哪国人, 你是哪国人. Those words I will talk about is all in the, I believe it's from the lesson 3, lesson 4. Yeah, in those two lessons, I introduced those question words. So this one is lesson 6. So if you're confused with those question words, you can go back to the lessons before. The new question word we're going to learn today is 几, 几. Follow me, read it. 几. 几, 几 is used to ask numbers. You can understand it like uh, how many or how much, but in general, as long as you want to ask a number, you use this one. Also, there is another question word also used to number. I will introduce it in the future lessons, not now. If I tell you now, you will feel confused. So now only remember this one, 几, ask for number. Now let us have a little conversation and then I will analyze the sentence structure from this conversation. You will see how it works. Tom asked, 今天星期几? Alex answered, 今天星期三? So 今天星期几? That means what's the day of today? 今天星期三 means Today is Wednesday. You may think about the daisy. Today is Wednesday. Where is your is? 是, is in your Chinese sentence. You only say 今天星期三. Today, Wednesday, you haven't say 今天is星期三. So now I'm going to tell you, in the daily spoken Chinese, 
if a number follow the subject straight away, like this one, 今天星期三是 is optional, is not really necessary to be here all the time. Okay, so you can see. 今天星期几？几 is in the end of the sentence. 今天星期三，三 is in the end of the sentence. Basically, you just keep everything same. Only need to switch the answer part and the question word. The answer is 三 Wednesday three, right? The question part is 几 ask for number. So, for example, now I give you an answer. Could you tell me where should we put the question word 几 So the answer will be 明天星期四 Tomorrow is Thursday. 明天星期四 So how could I ask what's the day of tomorrow?、Mm, I give you two seconds. One, two. So now I gonna tell you. So we just like I mentioned before. Answer part is number four, right? Thursday. That is keep everything same. Just use question word 几 switch with that 四 with that four. So gonna be 明天星期几 What's the day of tomorrow? 明天星期四 Tomorrow is Thursday. That is how it works. You not only can use it in the weekday, also you can use it in the specific date. So, for example, if I say 今天九月一号 today is the first of September. 今天九月一号 I want to make the sentence like what's the date of today. So I will also use 几 and also firstly find the answer part in this sentence. 今天九月一号九 and 一 Is the answer part right? Number nine and number one is the answer part. Just use the question word to instead of the answer part. We just switch it. We will say 今天几月几号 You will change nine and one both to 几今天几月几号 Answer 今天九月一号 So sometimes you want to say what's the date of Wednesday, because you may know it's Wednesday, but you don't know a specific date. In this case, you can say Wednesday is 几月几号 right? You will say Wednesday. How could we say Wednesday? Weekday is 星期 plus number, right? That gonna be 星期三 Wednesday, 星期三几月几号 The full sentence is 星期三几月几号 What's the date of Wednesday? Since now is only our lesson six, you don't know that much vocabulary, so you cannot make it flexible. But believe me, those kind of sentence structures we can make it really, really flexible once you know more and more vocabularies, and also once you follow me to know more and more vocabularies. Now I gonna read our conversation as a beginning that one. Again, so you will find out will be easy to understand after you know all the vocabularies and sentence structures. Tom, 今天星期几？今天星期三。明天几月几日？明天十月一日。我的生日是一九九一年。三月二十一日，你呢？我的生日是一九八五年五月二十日。All right, guys, that is all about license six. I hope you really learned something from us. If you are interested in any different topics, just leave a comment. Or if you have any questions after watch this video. You can leave a comment. We will reply you. Or you can check the first line in the description part of this video. You click it. Book a free live lesson with me. I'm Daisy. I'm here to help you learning Chinese. Bye bye. By the way, if you really like my video, you already watch it until end. Just give me a like or subscribe to my channel. 再见。